Okay, safety is number one priority. <laughs> What's up, science team? Today we're gonna be playing with fire, but responsibly. Woo! We got a lot of burden to do. <laughs> sort. That's one small step for man. Hold on to your butt. The universe is in us. For science! I'm Nick Uhas, host of science YouTube show, Nickopedia. We partnered up with Skybound to explore the science behind the mobile RPG Summoner's War. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at different colored fire and dragons. Dragons are a huge part of Summoner's War. You can summon them and they are gigantic dungeon bosses. My favorite is Zyros, an awakened fire dragon, but there are all different types. There's fire, water, and wind. And because there's different types of dragon, there's also different colored fire. So we're gonna make different colored fire in celebration of all the different types of dragons. So legit though, um, I'm gonna be wearing my top ventilated goggles because we have some flammable liquids. Don't want that in my eyeball. Now in order to get some really cool colored flames, because we're gonna dissolve some of this boric acid in this right here. This is methanol, a flammable alcohol. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some methanol about uh, 200 milliliters in here. We're gonna dissolve some boric acid. This looks like confection sugar. I would not put this on a cake. Go ahead and put this in the pan. All right, um, you guys let me know when you guys are ready. I'm gonna light this up. I was hoping it would light right there. But there we go. That is how you make green fire, which I think is pretty impressive, like a chef. Yep, come right up. Get you some green burgers here in a little bit. Next up, lithium. Uh, lithium is in batteries. In fact, that's actually where I got the lithium that we're about to use for this portion of the experiment. I would not recommend to do this at home. I mean, really interesting about lithium is that it's very reactive. Uh, and if it gets into, let's say, water, for example, it will, it'll react and catch on fire, and it'll, it'll do all sorts of crazy things. Now, I would not breathe that in. Woo! Oh man, that scared me. This pink flame reminds me of Zyros. That's looking great. Well, that was lithium. So lithium equals hot. Okay, so for our next metal salt, we are gonna be working with calcium chloride, also known as road salt. Calcium chloride, let's see what we get here. All right, let's light her up, see what happens. Ooh. So my final conclusion is, is that calcium chloride burns orange. Things are heating up. So there we go, we learned how to make different colored fire with different salts and different metals. So. Bork acid gave us a green, the lithium gave us that bright magenta pink color. The next step is going to be breathing fire like a dragon. All right, in order to breathe fire like a dragon, I have built this device. Now, here's how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna put that solution into this tube. I'm gonna let it kind of dangle down here at the bottom here. I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna push really hard through my lungs. I'm gonna force that solution through this tube across this lit flame right here, which this is paraffin oil in here. Uh, that will kind of burn like a tiki torch. And as it goes past this flame, it will catch fire and it will shoot flames all the way to the wall, just like a dragon. Two. <laughs> so there are definitely some problems with this setup. One of them is that you can't get the fluid stream to be consistent enough to pass over the flame in order to get the right amount of fire stream. I'm just, I'm just really not happy with it. All right, so I wasn't very pleased with our last uh, flamethrower device, so, I went on YouTube and I found Grant Thompson's mini flamethrower, of which I built one for myself. It's a fire extinguisher flamethrower, which is very ironic. And here's how it works. We're gonna fill this up with the boric acid and methanol solution mix. And there is a little bike valve on the back here. Same thing that you would use to fill up your bike tire. We can then repressurize this cylinder and light this little wick up front to give us the perfect stream of accelerant across the flame. I think this will do the trick. Okay, this is nice. Wow. <laughs> what 
coffee. It's phenomenal. I'm actually so impressed. I think we're gonna go ahead and fill that one more time, but I think we might switch up the colors here. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> okay, that. Wow, there's still some green in there. It's all mixed together now. That was so sick! It's still burning! That exceeded my expectations beyond all measure. That is exactly how I imagine a dragon breathes fire. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know which color fire was your favorite. Also, there is a link in the description below to Summoner's War. Um, and again, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and I'll see you really soon. It's going in here and then it comes down fire. That electron then goes to an excited state. Yes, all right, we absorb the energy. It's like partying, like mm -t, mm -t, mm -t.